Hello everyone and welcome back. This is part 2 of a video series focusing on filters for black and white photography. In the previous video we talked about how they work and why you should use them. And in this video we are going into the field to put the theory to the test. Now in the field, I've just loaded a roll of HP5 into my Nikon, and we're just waiting for the light to come back because I'm hoping to capture this tree right behind me. The leaves already are starting to turn yellow, so I just screw it on the orange filter, and hopefully that should create a nice separation between the, the yellow leaves and the woods in the back, which are mostly pines and greens. Um, but we just need the light to be here. All right, and we just reached Dodd Narrows. It took a while, but we're here. Dodd Narrows is basically a very small rapids um, with a fairly strong currents in which uh, you can often see uh, marine wildlife. So at the moment, I just saw like a river otters, but uh, if you're more lucky, you might even see orcas coming right through here, and they're very close, which is a wonderful sight. But here, what I want to do today is just um, see if I can capture this over there. There is not much light, but there is very strong blues from the water and from the sky. Um, and then generally to use a, to be able to differentiate the clouds from the sky, you would use an orange filter. But in that case, I'm going to use a blue filter. See if I can really uh, intensify the, the blue reflecting on the water, having those, uh, the blue of the sky very bright. And instead, it should make the clouds a bit darker. So we'll just test that right now. I'll take an exposure with and without, uh, without first, and then with the blue filter. So here, I've the, without the filter, we were at. Uh, thousand of a second f8 and ISO uh, 400 I did uh, did the exposure compensation a bit uh, higher um, and then so if here with the blue filters we have to bring it down to uh, 500 of a second so it's about a stop of a difference uh, without the filter and with the filter Thank you. 
I was a bit late, but just over there, there was some very nice lightning on the rocks. And then you had those uh, bright uh, clouds in the background. Um, so hopefully the light's gonna come back. It's not guaranteed, but I'm just gonna wait here for a little bit and see if it's better. Um, and I'm going to mount a 50. And if the light is good and I have enough time, I'll mount a yellow filter, orange filter, and red filters. Just so you can see the difference, the, especially the red filters will create on, on the sky and basically render it dark with bright white clouds, so it should be interesting. And the same thing with, when it comes to the uh, red filters, is that it will, do, it will create, um, not create, but it will add texture of the rocks um, or to buildings, for example. So there is like very nice details here over there on the rocks, um, with different uh, tonality. So hopefully the red should uh, intensify that and add overall more contrast, but again, We'll have to see if we're lucky with the light. All right, looks like the light is back now, so we'll have to hurry. I'll grab a first exposure with nothing on it. There is a very nice uh, sailboat over there, um, which I'm going to try to get with the 72 uh, H200. I put an orange filter. Hopefully, it will like really darken the the green and the woods, um, and then have maybe some definition in the sky. And I should have that uh, that bright white sail that's really popping out of the screen. Um, so we'll try that right now and see how it goes. Here is not our optimum for the euro angle, the camera view, but I'm trying to get this, uh, this the light like shimmering on the on the water here. Um, this is going to be a very high contrasty scene, so not much definitions. I'm probably going to burn most of the shadows, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to mount the 50 and probably use the orange filter and see what I get with it. Quite a bit of wind just picked up, and hopefully it should produce something, maybe not something good, but it will produce something. All right, so we are F8, uh, 500 of a sec. We'll get the surprise. So my mic gave up right about there, but I spent quite a bit of time waiting for the light to come back as I wanted to photograph these arbutus trees. They are quite common on the coast of Vancouver Island and recognizable by their bright red bark, which I thought could be accentuated with the use of the orange and the red filters. All right, and this is day two and we're just back from the shoot, which was quite windy. Um, the lighting condition changed quite a lot, so I had to wait for the light to come back. Sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. And I didn't shoot the full roll. I have, uh, I'm 30, so you have six left, which I'm going to save to shoot some portraits and uh, show you how some of those filters can really enhance uh, skin tones. Uh, I'll shoot it another day. After that, we'll take the roll out, develop it and see what we got. All right, I think we got it a day. It was a long day and I got very eaten alive by mosquitoes. So hopefully some of those images turn good. And if you got something out of this video, please consider liking and subscribing so I can do more in the future. And I'll see you next time when we develop this world of HP5. Bye for now.